Hey guys, um, I, w- I was going to post this as a comment, but you know how, you know, text messages writing is, is never as uh, personal. Um, it was just something I wanted to share with you as my audience. Um, so if you've seen the Roy Benavides um, episodes yet, um, specifically, well, I mean all of them, but the second and third one um, really was kind of the meat of the story. Um, if you remember the end of the third episode, um, Lloyd Mousseau was the the assistant team leader for the reconnaissance team that was um, in that firefight uh, that Roy, you know, jumped on that helicopter to go out and to try and extract. Um, they were friends. Obviously, they worked in close proximity. Um, and Mousseau happened to be the, the wounded soldier that was on the medevac helicopter um, heading out to the field hospital from the, you know, the special ops base. And if you remember en route from, you know, their, their, their base um, at Loch Ninn on their way to the hospital, um, Roy and Mousseau were, you know, in the, ho- in the helicopter holding hands the entire way. And right before they got to the, the hospital, um, Roy felt Musso's hand go limp, and he, and he had he had passed away. In the space of this last week, I I had talked to Roy's daughter. I had found her email address, um, and I had managed to contact her just to get her kind of her a OK on me doing the story. Um, I, I just felt it was appropriate to ask to make sure that her she and her family were okay with it. But I talked to her last summer. Um, and I never heard back from her um, yet, and I just, I didn't want to, you know, I wasn't going <laughs> to be nosy. Um, but she had emailed me on Sunday of this week, you know, a few days ago. Um, she said she was, you know, very, uh, you know, she, she enjoyed how it was done. She was very, um, she thanked the, the voice actors, my buddies, my Marine Corps buddies that helped me out. Um, but just a few minutes ago, actually, if you remember at the end of the story, it was very sad to say, but right before Lloyd Mousseau went out on that that mission, um, he had sent a birthday card to his three-year-old daughter. And that would happen to be the last piece of correspondence that his family uh, would receive. Excuse me. Well, his daughter just messaged me. And like Yvette... She also wanted to say thank you. <clears throat> and um, and you know, you know, she kind of explained to me how she spent her whole life without her father, trying to piece his life together, you know, like and it, it turns out that the army has done an exceptional job in connecting those families. I mean, on, on at least several occasions, they have had an opportunity, the children um, have had an opportunity to meet each other of the men who didn't make it back. Um, and it was very touching uh, to, to have her reach out to me. And so I just felt that it would, I've tried to be very transparent, you know, with you guys. And for those of you that, that are, you know, maybe <laughs> are interested in that, but I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you. Um, because again, if, if it wasn't for an audience, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing this. So I just wanted to, to really sincerely thank you for your support. Um, thank you for allowing me, uh, to do these stories. Obviously Roy's was an exceptional story among many, um, you know, because I, I, you know, I haven't done too many heroic stories. I'm sure there's many more to tell, but, um, of the ones I'd heard about his was just, it really hit, it hit, hit close to home for me because I, you know, I, I, I worked in reconnaissance during the Marine Corps and well, anyway, so thank you. Um, thank you for even watching this and listening to me ramble about it. But, um, I just, I wanted to say how much I sincerely appreciate you guys. Um, and, and thank you for your continued support. God bless you all. Take care. And, All right, I'm going to get back to work.